Here we go. Reload speed. Add speed. So, uh, so Nick, can you tell me what happened to your hand? I know it. <laughs> I'm gonna get the question. Um, I was playing basketball and uh, kind of got a little excited and hit the goal. Temper, temper, temper. Temper, temper. And what did the doctors say that uh, punching the goal did exactly to your finger? Well, there was oh, a pad. pad. See what it is? It's a padded area right, right behind the basketball goal. And I didn't expect it to be a, a bar back there. But he has enough knowledge to know that the pad has to sit on something. But anyways, I hit it and I, I just broke my finger. Broke right. his hand, basically. Um, yeah. How does somebody treat a broken hand on a tour? What did, like, what we all sit laugh at it. Like, we all laugh. I had to bring back the x-rays so they didn't think I was crying wolf like AJ. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I broke my leg, you know, being on tape. <laughs> so, one of the things that we're trying to find out is uh, what it's like for you guys to be performing at these big arena tours because, you know, not everybody gets to play big arenas. A um, lot of lights, a lot of colors, a lot of stuff going on on stage. How far back can you actually see? See, probably about... From like the front view of the stage, you probably see about me almost all the way back to the soundboard in the back. When like the house lights come up, but you really can't see the people in the back until we go to our other yeah, part of the show, the B stage. Now we can see the rest of the people. But if they bring the house lights up, you, you see everybody. Then. You can see. You can see all the way back. Pretty much all the, the entire back. place. Mm -hmm. What's but that like? When, when, when it's just spotlights in your face and the lights are low, you can only see about the first. 30, 40 rows actually make out people's faces. But when the house lights come up, like we have audience participation parts where we want the audience to do stuff, they'll turn the house lights up and you can see everybody. Um, I was watching some footage of you guys and I noticed that, I don't know if this is different from other tours, but you really kind of reach out to the fans. Ever get into a hairy situation where they try and pull you into the crowd or anything like that? Oh yeah. Last night, <laughs> last night happened to me. I went over to one of the wings, and like normally on on the wings, there's a pretty good distance. They don't sell the seats right there by the wing, and we like give it a couple rows so they have room, and then put a bunch of house security there so that the kids don't, because they could easily hop up on the wing if they wanted to. Don't get an idea. But uh, last night they were right up against the wing. And if you if you put your hand in too far, you're you're gonna get pulled in. I mean, you know, you just trying to gotta just smack them and just say hi, smack their hands and say what's up. No. How he's went off in front of the stage. Before. I'm notorious. Yeah, how many getting sucked into the audience? What happened? You fell off the stage? Oh yeah, I fell off the stage a couple of times. Um, back in, in the stage, didn't I? <laughs> Falling in the stage, fell off the stage. You did that just recently? On the stage. Stage. You did it again? Yeah. Yeah. I fell on the uh, toaster. Uh, one of our or not toasters, but the uh, genie. Is that thing that it's comes like these little holes that we have on the stage that we come up on stuff. It was our very first show in Fort Lauderdale. Ryan from actually, uh, was, we were trying to think of the choreography. <laughs> but then I think y'all referring back to Germany the first time I fell off the stage. It was like that, about five years ago we were in Germany. Maybe not too long. And then yeah. was AJ was doing the song. What was it? Uh, Mr. Doing DJ. Out. I was doing no. Get down. Not DJ. Get down. I thought it was. And uh, me and Nikki were behind him hyping him up, and Nikki didn't know I was right behind him, and he hit me. And I kind of like fell over on this little catwalk, and luckily enough, my security guard was right down there. He just looked up and was like, hey, we caught out he's from heaven. I was and just hoping there would be a little small pillow or something that would break the fall. It's good. He's a big guy. So aside from slipping off the stage and the broken hand, what other incidents on this tour would make it on the uh, Backstreet Boys 2001 blooper reel? Brian's head <laughs> was on... It was so funny, Brian's, Brian's wife and my girlfriend were sitting in the pit and my girlfriend looks over to Brian's wife Leigh and goes, I think your husband's head's on fire. And I guess, I mean, after we finish, uh, what's not, not for me, right? we jump into our little toasters and there's a big pyro explosion. I guess one of the ashes came down and caught his bandana that he wears and just started smoking. He's up there talking to the crowd, saying hi, and doing a whole intro. And while I his didn't head know that people. smoke was coming up. Oh, it was hilarious. I mean, they, I, you know, they didn't get hurt, but I said.